trying to take five out of the bottom of the pulley. Out of the width of the pulley, let's see what we got. There we go. We're a few thou over, we're fine. It's just a pulley. We have a slight difficulty. This isn't made to work on the other side. And I'm abutting the uh, square headed bolt for the my threading dial to get this setting, which is sloppy. But hey, we're just building a pulley. I'm getting my same drill bit here, my 096 drill bit. Just fitting in the clearance there. Perfect. That's working well as a gauge block. So let's do the other side. Alright, let's check our belt fit. I'm not quite there all the way yet. Our belt's not down in the groove all the way, as predicted. Let's check the belt fit again. It appears as though my bevels are to an equal distance on both sides. Maybe I need to take a little more over here. According to my carriage stop I do. Let's take a little more because we're not fully down in there yet. Make this nice and slow. I wonder what happened there, White. Quit cutting. Interesting. So on the way out, it rubbed over an area rather than cutting. As I go back and forth, I'm getting an additional cut. Maybe I have a build up on my tool. Wow, that's looking nice. Yeah, so the belt is just slightly proud of the top surface, which I think is what the kind of fit we're going for. Man, that looks good. Damn, Bob, you could have made a pulley after all. Look at how good that looks. Starting to get excited. Okay. Uh, you know what? I've got a little bit of a flaw on that wall. Let's see if we got something on the tool bit here. Take a real slow finish cut over the same ground. Looks like we're taking off a couple tents in some areas. All the way to full depth. Belt fits nice. I think this groove is done, fellas. So let's do the other side. Squaring my tool post with a 1 2 3 block against the faceplate. 
So what we have here, this groove, it, he didn't finish widening it before he uh, scrapped the part. So we're at 352 and the groove needs to be 395. So I've got to come out uh, 43 thousandths. And we can clearly see it's thicker on this side than this side, so I'm going to take it all over here. So there's our touch off. And I have to go 43 thousandths, so let me find a drill bit. And we'll do it the same way we did the bevels. Using this little 43 thousandths drill bit as a spacer, I've set my carriage stop. Pull my cross slide back. Move over a little bit for a cut. Lock down the carriage. We're ready to do it. Wow. Now I got a problem there. It doesn't want to cut. It's riding up on the material. Gonna solve this problem. Started out cutting and then failed. I'm having to use this style bit because I don't have a uh, I don't have a tool to get in there. Maybe I should be using a cutoff. Let's try the cutoff. Here we go. Why does it bend over and not want to cut? I'll change this over to a proper bit. Get rid of the burr from the last screw up. Get a touch off point. There we go. Reset my carriage stop. Oh, yes. Much nicer. I don't understand. It's as if my bit moved. What do we have? We have three fifty. Eight. I have to go to 395. Something moved and I got a step in there. What is going on? Nothing is hitting. Lower the speed a bit. Three 
365. A 395. Carry over some more. Three seventy five with three ninety five. Move the carriage up against the stop. I think this will probably be a little bit short. I'm trying to do a finish cut anyways, just in case. Nice steady. So we are at 387. Move my stop just slightly. See if we can sneak up on it. So we're at 390. Need to go another 5 thou. Let's look at our flanges here. This is 190. This one is 2. Almost 200. 197. So we want to take a little bit off the other side, if at all possible. So we will reset the tool. Touched off with the compound. Got the compound set at 15 degrees. Moved at about 15 thousandths here. Only trying to take five out of the bottom of the pulley. Out of the width of the pulley. Let's see what we got. There we go. For a few thou over, we're fine. It's just a pulley. So we are at 190 on this side, and basically 190 on that side. So we're good. So now we can set up and do our bevels. All right, I'm going to find. The touch off point a little differently this time. By actually touching the corner and moving the compound. There it is. Locking the table in. So here's how we figure out where our carriage stop goes. We're sitting at basically uh, we're basically 198 here. I'm sorry, 398 on the width. Depends on where I measure it. Yes, yeah, so we're 398 on the width, and we want to be at 625. So 398, 625. That's 227 is what we have to take off of here. Um, but we got to split the 227 on each side. So that's uh, 113 thousandths a side. So I need to find a drill bit around 113 to use as a spacer to set my carriage stop on the right in this case. So 
So here we go. The shank of this bit, I believe it's a number 33, is 113. This is not the correct way to measure a drill bit, but this is the area I'm using as a gauge block. Yum! Just had a wonderful dinner. Chicken wings, baked carrots and potatoes. Mmm! Alright, we have the carriage stop set over here on the right. I'll get you a close-up of uh, one of my carriage stop sets when we do the other side. <clears throat> and we're touching off there. I can move the compound back and forth. We can walk the carriage over, up against the stop, and take off what's needed here, which is 113 thousandths per side. There we go. Should be taking nothing. Move the carriage over. Check this. I've got another movement of the carriage left. Now, because this slot was narrower, it was the correct width, we're very close to the correct width, our bevel is going much deeper into the pulley. So it looks a little different than the small side. And this will be the last cut. There we go. Moving all this swarf out of here. There we go. I think we'll have a nice fitting belt when we do the other side. I think I'm going to cut that on the way out. See if it improves the finish a little bit. Must be getting a little bit of tool flexure on the way in. Let's reset and do the left flange. 